more than yeah. Than I think some you know. Yeah, I mean, these guys have been waiting a long time. They've been doing player run practices all summer. Really, not much different when they're wearing shells than it is when they come out and, and do their PRPs. So, once you get the opportunity to put the pads on, I think you know you can see pretty good energy here today. A little heightened sense of urgency, and that's what I would have expected. And, and from year one to year two, do you feel like it's just you feel now like it's all systems go, and you're not feeling like you have to you know, move guys around and figure out where to go. Everyone seems to have a, a pretty good uh, idea. I, yeah, you know, I think our guys understand what we're trying to get done. Um, the flow of individual into team, group drills, I think they get that. I think they understand our language and our terminology. But I think, you know, as a coach, what our job is to get every one of these guys an opportunity to compete for a job. And so saying you're going to be this this year and you're going to be this this year and you're going to be this this year, I think that's a little bit closed-minded. I really look at the first couple of weeks of fall camp as let's find out who our best guys are and then let's put them in the spots where they can help us win. And so you're going to see a lot of mixing and matching still within this group, uh, just as we did in the spring, as these guys start to emerge. I know a lot of the things during spring, people were talking about the close-knit nature of this defense and the trust and everything like that. Is that showing up? Yeah, I think so. I think these guys... You know, they spend a lot of time around each other. I mean, it's amazing. And having never been in a quarter school, I can't believe how much time these guys have with each other. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, this is all they do. I mean, you know, shoot, when I was at semester schools, guys would leave the second, third week, maybe second week in May. You wouldn't see them again until the first. They had three full weeks off. Our guys don't get that. You know, and so I think uh, they kind of have to become a really tight, tight group. There's a lot of times where and not anybody else on campus necessarily. It's just kind of them. I think that helps us to bond a little bit more. It looks like Turp is kind of showing up the last yeah, couple of times. Yeah, he ran the I ones today. did a nice job. And uh, it's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Hey, you have a good day, you learn to ride your roll with the ones. You have a bad day, you go down and roll with the twos or threes. Right. When, you know, when, they decide their own playing time. I don't. And talking to these kids and asking them, what position are you playing? They say, well, I'm playing this, I'm playing that, I'm playing this. I mean, there's only a couple guys that can really pigeonhole and say that's a de-tackle. You know, is this all by design? That I, I mean, is it going to continue to be that way in terms of uh, they're just kind of wherever? Well, I think <laughs> well, they're not going to be wherever. wherever we're going you know we're, we're to have a plan, trust right. me. <laughs> we're going to have a plan. But it was, as I was mentioning earlier, you know, it's really about us trying to find our best 11. Right. And so, you know, this guy might have the ability to, yeah, you know, he's a two here at tackle. Mm -hmm. but he's pretty doggone good. Could he be a one force at nose? Right. He's a two at end. It's pretty doggone good. Could he maybe be a one attack? Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're kind of trying to find out. So this first two weeks of fall camp, a lot like spring ball, so it's a we're kind of thing. mixing and matching, yeah. trying to find out what our deal is. And then as we get through the first two weeks, right. we've got to start making some decisions yeah. and getting these guys locked in. There's a lot of carryover between positions. Right. So it's not like there's a ton of nuances. I mean, if, you, if we're in a three down front, tackle and end are essentially the same position. It's yeah. just whether you're aligned to the field or to the boundary. And mm -hmm. so um, I think there will be a lot of carryover. It won't be crazy. And we're all in the same room. So even if they're playing tackle, they're listening to what's going on with the nose. Right. And, and that's important for too. I actually think from a learning standpoint, it really helps our defense be better. Because if I'm just worried about this little box right here, I don't pay any attention yeah, to what's exactly. going on over here. Mm -hmm. We force them to learn what's going on next to them, behind them, those types of things. And what about Vita? I mean, where, yeah. where is he at maybe fitness wise and, and how much can you yeah. get out of him right now? He better go. He's, he, I don't think he's played a football game in about two and a half years because he had to sit out a year for uh, you know, when he, when he was uh, he was uh, a non-qualifier, and then he had his year in residence last year here. Mm -hmm. So he looks pretty good so far, and uh, it's just about consistency with him. You know, just having not played the game in a while, just figuring out how to go hard down in and down out. Uh, I've been pleased with him for the most part through the first five practices. A couple of the new guys that really seem to be looking <laughs> good that I've noticed are Jason Scrimpos and uh, Walton Naturally Benning, but also. Ricky McCoy looks real good out there. He's real wide yeah. girth, and I mean, you see yeah, good things a, coming with him. Ricky's a good athlete, and he's a kid who probably, you know, in some respects, uh, is probably gonna. What I'd like to see him do is maybe drop a few pounds and put it back on the right way. Mm -hmm. um, but I think Ricky's got the right approach and the right attitude, right. and he's a guy that's gonna. And, you know, we feel really good about all our young guys. Yeah, they're, 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 their heads are spinning right now. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. Well, we'll find out what type of players they are is when we. You know, they've been here for a little bit, and they go, okay, I know what I'm doing on this call, turn it loose and go. Yeah. And so we look forward to, you know, once those guys get through these first couple of weeks and they're not just swimming with all the information. You need to rest your boys, Coach. <laughs> I, got, I got five meetings a day, right? <laughs> I know. Three, three position, oh, two man. special teams. So. Oh, 